Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Only a few more days till June 2nd in the release of the new Stampin' Up! catalog and the new Ronald McDonald um, charity stamp set that Stampin' Up! is featuring this year. It is called Sprinkles of Life. It is a gorgeous photopolymer set. has 22 different stamps. I fell in love with it as soon as I seen it and decided that that would be my first Stamp of the Month um, kit. Uh, for the start of the new catalog. So with that kit, you are going to get this stamp set, the wonderful tree builder punch that matches this set so you can make trees and cupcakes and ice cream cones and more and more and more. Plus with your stamp of the month kit, you are going to get your Stampin' Right new in color um, markers. Beautiful new in colors. Here's a bookmark I did with um, the new in colors. So you will get all three of these in your Stamp of the Month kit. So you want to watch my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, uh, for all the details. Today in my quick video, I am going to show you some tricks to do with the punch and the stamp set. First, I'm going to show you one of the cards that will be featured in my Stamp of the Month, and it has the tree and it has the little apples. So with your punch, you'll see there's a lot of different pieces. And if you've used the Builder Punches before, you know sometimes it can be challenging when you only want that one little apple or the little um, leaf. So I'm going to show you a trick how to do that. I'm just bringing a half-inch strip of the watermelon wonder. Again, this is one of the new in colors and I'm going to stamp that apple, open my punch and I'm going to take that half inch piece and I'm just going to feed it through my punch like so and line it up. So I'm only stamping or excuse me, only punching that little apple not all the other pieces. So that's my first trick on how to use this punch. The next thing I want to show you is a trick with the stamp set. It has this beautiful little tree that you can uh, put your leaves on, but look how I took that tree and made it bigger. So let me bring in a scrap piece of paper. Again, this is one of the cards that will be featured in my stamp of the month for the month of June. Um, those kits do stay available as long as I have them um, in stock, but you want to hurry and get them before they run out. So I'm going to take my tip top tote. Now that is a mouthful. I'm going to take that tree, I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to stamp it upside down. So you see the tree is upside down. I only stamped, and I got a little smudge there, but this is just showing you how to do it. You don't care that there's a smudge there. I've got my tree upside down. I'm going to ink that stamp again, and now I'm going to put it right on top of that stub. So I've got this look going to take that tree branch again and I'm going to stamp attaching the tree branch like so. Next I'm going to bring in my new in color called Cucumber Crush, a real bright fun green. I'm sure we're going to love this at Christmas time. To bring in my I hope I see I brought my flowers over. Let's pull that off. We don't need that. I want the leaves. And let's hope it's in that set. There it is. So I'm going to put the leaves on. And I'm going to ink that stamp. And I'm going to stamp it several times. Just overlapping one another until I fill that bigger tree up. So there's just a quick tip on how to make a bigger tree with the Sprinkles of Love um, stamp set. Also going to do the same thing as I did with that apple. I'm going to just bring in a smaller, this is like a quarter inch strip of that Cucumber Crush and I just want this time the little leaf. So I'm going to put that in 
and punch. Well, of course, my fingers aren't working. There we go. So I'm going to punch the little leaf, and then I'm going to put that on my tree. I'm going to bring in that finished card, and you can see how those leaves just add to that card. Again, this is a card that will be featured in my stamp of the month um, this month. Head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, to get all the details on how you can get this pack. It is my biggest stamp of the month kit I have ever done, with a lot of cards and note cards, plus all the products you've seen. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed today's tips. Talk to you real soon.